Rounding out the option. Uh, 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 no, uh, uh, I'm taking it. No. We're going forward. No. Yes. No. <laughs> They probably don't do these videos anymore. <laughs> Ooh, that's great. What's up, people? Oh, I squeaked. <laughs> Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Squeak. Happy Friday, everybody. No, we're, <laughs> we are finishing our series on yeah. NFTs and real estate. That's right. Pros and cons today. Pros and cons. We're going to talk about them all at one time. And we're going to read them. I'm just going to say we're going to read them. Are we? I wasn't going to. You go then, because I can't remember them. Pro number one, <laughs> privacy when buying property. I think, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Because you're assigned a transaction number, mm -hmm. not so much name. Yeah. All that other information. You know when you get up the phone call. It's interesting because like, I know people always want to know, like, oh, who owns your property, blah, 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 blah. And they, so, they stalk people on social media. Mm -hmm. I don't know to what end. I don't know what informa information you glean yeah. from <laughs> it. Like maybe you find out that you Why'd have- Why'd you say it like that? What? Glean. Cause it's weird. I don't know. Like you just people... said, you like a international and overseas transaction. That I, makes I, sense. I, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, crypto if it itself is decentralized. It's not backed by. Well, there's no exchange rate. It's basically what you're saying. To theoretically. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. yeah. Right. But yeah. You, it's not like you have to convert U.S. dollars into f pounds. Or worry about. This country's titling process versus this country's yeah. titling. Yeah. It, 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 it goes back to what we talked about in one right. of the earlier videos. I'm looking online. This is outside like purchase. Right. I now own it. Right. And it's in Italy. Um, yes. The next is just reducing the cost yeah. in general. I mean, it eliminates a lot of middlemen. Yeah, which people might not be happy about this right. series of videos. So uh, let's talk about that because we could, uh, I mean, theoretically, we could be talking ourselves out of some jobs. Mm -hmm. Certainly talk title companies out of jobs. Lenders. But you know, I mean like, if real estate agents went away, uh, that's a good point. We'd find something else to do. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're, we're two personable guys. Yeah. We could sell anything. I'd land on my feet, kid. I think so. Yeah. Sport. There we go. But, can't say the same about all those lenders we know. They'd be shit out of luck. Yeah, I mean, that's an interest by, you know, uh, lending, crypto, I don't know about that. Yeah. That's not something I know much about. Title companies would be gone. Gone. Yeah, because it's, they would not be needed yeah, anymore. There, there's yeah. no need to record a deed, transfer, right. and paper. Because it's no. all done on the blockchain. Right, all right. So that's, a pro is the speed, and a pro is saving money. A right. con is, you know, if you work in the industry. Right. We just talk you out of a job. Um... I like, I mean, I'm a marketing guy, getting yeah. attention in the press, like that's, that makes sense. If I were to list a house and have an option to buy it in Bitcoin, I would highlight the shit out of that. Of course we would. Because yeah. you would, it would have to be a higher end property. That's right. really the only, well, I don't know, I guess it wouldn't have to be. But Not that's how it would make. I mean, or it could be a lower end property, to be honest with you. But I think using the blockchain would be interesting to go through the process. Yeah, like, yeah I mean, I'd market it. Why yeah. not? Yeah. Unless you would get notoriety. It's, yeah. Like, it's, uh, whatever. Yeah, and I think it will be. More eyes on your listing. Yeah. We need to talk about cons too, because there are some cons. There are some cons. We just hit on one inadvertently, but being hacked. Being yeah. hacked, too. Yeah. It's yeah. fun when we say things together. In unison. Um, but you could be hacked in, in whether or regardless of whether or not you're using crypto and the blockchain or the standard way real estate's purchased now. You know, we have all heard anecdotal stories of people wiring money to the wrong account because someone yeah. sent them a phishing email. This has happened on a transaction I've been part of. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it can happen either way. Yeah. Um, it's probably less likely, in my opinion, to happen in a blockchain, in a world where we're buying real estate via blockchain, but that's my opinion. What the yeah. hell do I know, you know? Um, another downside though, yeah. is there's no essentially currency control, right? If a house is worth uh, half a million bucks, right? It's worth half, like you know. Yeah. You can, you can with some certainty, understand the appreciation or the depreciation of the property. Based in US dollars. Right. Yeah. If you're buying it using a blockchain and buying it in crypto, all bets are off. At right. least as we currently stand. Right. right? Because, yeah. you know, Bitcoin is worth something mm -hmm. and now it's different. Right. And now it's different. Right. Whereas like the dollar is stable throughout the entire that And same I think period. that will change as these you know, these alternative currencies yeah. uh, become more widely accepted and then you know, they either start to become backbones or vice, or, or the dollar starts to become backbones. They, they, they will be, that, that I think they will stabilize at yeah. that point. Yeah. And that, that will, I think, that risk 
maybe will not ever go away, but will start to be somewhat diminished. I, I agree, and it, it sort of leads into the next one, which is the hyper volatility, because mm -hmm. that unlimited downside, right. theoretically, the opposite is also right. true. I mean, Bitcoin can go from 30 to 60 mm -hmm. in an hour, 60,000 right. in an hour. Right. Does that mean your house is all of a sudden worth 50% more? Right. Like, I don't know, yeah. probably not, but like, technically it is, I guess. But <laughs> I mean, to that end though, like, it's so much easier to sell your house now yeah. to realize those gains, you know. Right. The, the, the house as a commodity might change, that yeah. whole theory. Um, you know, another con that we kind of joked as a pro is we are eliminating some jobs, yeah. right? So like, I mean, all jokes aside, the necessity for a lot of real estate agents and title companies is just not there anymore. Right. You know, you might need people to walk you through processes, certainly vet things, but for the act of actually purchasing the house, you don't need people for that yeah, part anymore. Because the yet. contract could literally be as simple as click. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Or the execution of the contract. Exactly. Is as exactly. As yeah, you might have to, to go over the terms. Right. There would still probably be some terms that you would need to agree upon right. between buyer and seller, but click right per, now i own it right. instead of like now i'm under contract gotcha. no now you actually own it and i think one of the last cons is at least while it's in its infancy is the risk of regulations popping up yeah you, you do something one way a new regulation pops up and now what you've done is completely void yeah i, I mean, mean that's, it's, it's possible it, you know yeah. that's a great great point i mean there there i guess is a potential for a scenario for you to close on your house on the first and on mm -hmm. the second the government decides, well, you can't do that anymore. Right. And now, do you own the house? Sure. Or is the person who sold it to you still own the house? Right. Like, where, where is that? So, there's a lot of stuff to work out. Right. But, it's coming. Like, this is happening. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's almost inevitable at this point right. that some sort of electronic way of purchasing a house is, is, is going to be here soon. It might take five years. It might take ten years. I think it's faster than that, but I think yeah. it's going to be here yeah. shortly. It's yeah. something to keep an eye on. So, that's what we're doing. That's it. Those are our thoughts. NFTs and real estate. Those are our musings. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. I think next week we should do a series on purchases that have been made oh, that'd be with cool. crypto. Yeah. We can just highlight. Yeah. Maybe we'll just do some posts. If we don't want to do We'll see how much information we find. Yeah. Or if we feel like doing the videos. It's probably option B. Yeah. All right. <laughs> see ya. Thank <laughs> you.